Okay, hello everyone. I'm Jessica Johnson. I'm with Black Travelers Network. And today I am joined by none other than Antoine White. Antoine is the owner of Young Black Entrepreneurs Networking and Development Group. So welcome, Antoine. Thank you. Thanks for having me. This is good. This is good. So, you know, for us, you know, our community is, you know, Black Travelers Network. And networking is a really important component to what we do. And I want to make sure that, you know, the viewers are clear that we're definitely going to talk uh, more about your business and how you're, you're incorporating networking into everything that you do. Um, but before we get into that, I want you to tell us a little bit about yourself and, and you know, where are you from? Where did you grow up? Um, originally from uh, Brooklyn, Illinois, via St. Louis, Missouri. But I've uh, lived in Dallas now for the past three years. And I came out here and started my business about a year ago. And things are going pretty good so far. So tell me, when you say that, you know, you, how did you go from New York, living in New York and being from New York to St. Louis and now ultimately Dallas? What was sort of like your journey? No, it's actually Brooklyn, Illinois. Oh, we were close to Illinois. Okay. St. Louis, Missouri, yeah. Probably like 10, 10, 15 minutes away from St. Louis, Missouri, all in the same area. Okay, that's a small town then. It is. It's actually the uh, first established black town in America, actually. Brooklyn, Illinois. Yes, ma'am. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Okay. So it's not that far from St. Louis. Uh, maybe 10, 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Not too far. Okay. Not too far at all. And so when did you decide to move to Dallas? I decided to move to Dallas. Uh, September will be three years. So roughly around three years ago, I was trying to go to uh, – Atlanta, Georgia first, but I really wasn't getting a good response as far as the job market. So I came down to visit a friend from college about three years ago and stayed for about four days and started applying for jobs and they were calling back instantly. So I say, hey, why can I come check it out? Yeah, yeah. Dallas is a great market for, for those folks who are out there who may be looking for jobs. It's pretty easy and doesn't take a whole bunch of effort to get a, you know, something pretty quick. That's, that's kind of the consensus of a number of new transplants here in the area. What kind of jobs do you feel like throughout your work history have led you down to the path of entrepreneurship? Uh, a lot of call center experience. I've worked in seven call centers to be exact. So if you've been in that setting, you would understand how you would definitely want to get out of that setting. It's not too much growth and, you know, you get a little stuck in that, that environment. Mm -hmm. And so was it just the, the monotony of, you know, working in the call centers that made you decide you know, like, I got to, I got to do something different because it's a huge leap to go from, you know, a call center job to full-time entrepreneurship. Like I know a number of people who work in call centers and who worked in call centers for many years. What about it? What about your experience led you to, you know, take that first leap of faith and say, I'm done with this? Uh, I would say just, just fully understanding who I am and fully understanding the abilities that I possess. Also, I have a, I have a bachelor's degree in business administration, so understanding that um, every work setting that I've been in, I'm always a top performer, so understanding that and using those skill sets, using a degree and say, why not pursue pursue my business on my own? You know, just understanding... Um, Compare it against others, usually I'm in the top. So it's like, why not take these skills that I'm using at this call center job and apply it to something I'm fully interested in? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So prior to uh, young, your Young Black Entrepreneurs group, have did you have any other business outside of that? Or is this sort of like a new sort of first step? Well, uh, growing up, I always did uh, little, you know, little small things, cutting grass, shoveling snow. Uh, I used to be the, the CD and DVD guy back in the day. So always like little small little hustles like that. So always had something going on. 
definitely. And that, you know, that's what I think is the most exciting because like when people look at a lot of the businesses that are out there today, many people actually started by doing things they could do locally, like exactly what you're saying, like cutting lawns and, you know, shoveling snow. Those are full businesses. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, definitely. It's the same concept. As long as you're disciplined and have structure to it, then you can apply those same principles pretty much to anything, really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you came out to Dallas and you were working in a call center. So what made you say, I want to start an entrepreneur's, a, a business based around entrepreneurs? Like what, what made you go into that sort of direction? Uh, just pretty much coming out and uh, studying the climate of the city. Uh, Dallas is pretty good for an entrepreneur if you want to come down, start your business, and develop those uh, types of skills. It's definitely wide open. It's a huge city compared to St. Louis, where I'm coming from. So it's so many different little small sections of Dallas that you can go to, Irving, Addison, Arlington, tons of different places where you can, a uh, bunch of different businesses, a bunch of clubs, a bunch of malls, all kinds of different things. So just seeing that, seeing the amount of opportunity, the amount of people that I can reach, and also seeing the, uh, the black culture here. It's kind of like uh, there's really no central location for people like me and you to meet. So just seeing that and like possibly creating that, that uh, interests me. So working towards that now. Yeah, so tell us about your business. Like what what does your business do for a number of our listeners out there who who may not be from Dallas? Many of our listeners tune in and listen from different parts of the world. So what is Young Black Entrepreneurs Networking and Development Group? Yeah. So I pretty much uh wanted to provide some leadership and uh, gives examples of positive leadership in the community. So everything I do is catered towards the African-American community. So it gives people like me and you options outside of maybe just going to the local bar, or going to the local club where we can actually get together and do some stuff that will stimulate each other, stimulate our minds, and supply some uh, positive energy for each other so we can share our resources, network with each other, and, you know, create some good energy where we can keep that moving forward by ourselves and our community. Yes, yes, yes. And, you know, what, when it comes to networking, like I tend to like feel that networking nowadays is, is different than like the traditional model to a certain extent. A lot of people um, are familiar with the model of, you know, there'll be maybe like a, a, a business event or um you know, some type of conference that people go to and everybody's there with the with their business cards and sort of like with a mindset of I'm here to quote unquote network. But what I really like about what you do is you incorporate a bunch of different types of activities. And, you know, it, it's just a, a new sort of way of looking at networking. Can you talk about how you make sure that through through your business and through your events that you're doing, like how, how are you creating an environment of networking? Uh, definitely. I really, I'm pretty, a, a pretty diverse person. So I have a lot of interests. So I'm sure a lot of other people similar to me have different, different interests as well. So I do a bunch of different things that in, can include uh, different people. I do book clubs. I do yoga classes. Uh, offer brunches, uh, vendor events, networking events. Really don't like to uh, limit it. So I can, uh, really part of the networking as well. So I can meet different types of people. Uh, you may show up to the book club, but you may not be interested in the yoga class. So different people each time, uh, different people each event. So it's kind of like, yeah, I'm actually growing my network as well. So I can reach different spaces throughout the city and meet different types of people. So uh, somewhere down the line, if I need assistance in this area, I can go reach over to this person and they can do the same with me. So, you know, uh, my brand and myself, I'm not limited. 
Yeah. I mean, I have to say, I'm originally from Dallas and, you know, you know so much more about the city (laughs) than I do. Like you are really out there and, you know, you have a great following of people. And like you said, many different people tune in to different things that you're hosting. One thing that I remember, I remember going to uh, one of your ice cream socials and it was just so fun and so chill. And there were like, I remember it was like nighttime and we were just kind of sitting under one of like, it might've been an oak tree, just chopping it up and just talking and, you know, really getting to know like people on a one-on-one level. So with your events, like when you, when you're doing those sort of, um, you know, meetings and like meetups are, are, is that sort of like your intention or do you just kind of like trust that it's going to happen organically? Yeah, um, I definitely want to make sure we uh, we network with each other, but I also want to make sure that we can possibly uh, gain relationships as well. So, you know, we can stay connected with each other, share our resources. That's kind of a, I mean, the concept of networking, really, to meet a few cool people, stay in contact, so they can help you out somewhere down the line in an area that they specialize in, and you can return a favor and help them specialize in the area that you specialize in. Kind of like building, building the community, really. Right, right. And do you find that there are people who are connecting to uh, young black entrepreneurship group, your group? Are you finding that the people are business owners or, you know, are there some who are business owners and there are some who are who may be thinking about it? Is this like sort of a great platform to get them sort of surrounded by other business owners? Yeah, definitely. It's pretty cool. I meet, uh, I would say actually each event, I meet somebody different in a different uh, profession. So it's like, it's cool uh, real estate uh, people, uh, homeowners, business owners, uh, people looking to start their own business. So it's pretty cool. Actually, I actually, I would say that's the part that I enjoy the most, actually, like seeing what kind of people come out and say, you know, how we can help each other in the different lanes and different types of people different states, different cities, different uh, ways of living. So it's, it's a learning, learning process as well, learning different people. If I can add on to my skill set as well. Yeah, you know, I'm so impressed with your cre- creativity. Like there is, there's so many different ideas that, you know, you come up with. I'm like, how did Antoine come up with this? This is really, really cool. Um, so can you, talk, can you talk a little bit about, like, what have you learned about our community, like the Black American community here, whether it's here in Dallas, I know you do some, other, some work in other areas as well. So what have you learned in terms of our behavior uh, around you know, just this whole concept and idea of networking and are there any things that you think that we should be thoughtful of as we sort of try to improve the relationships that we're having with each other? Um, I'll say my experience in Dallas has been pretty good just to see like uh, what's out there and what's possible. Because I meet brilliant people all the time with awesome ideas, like great businesses. So it's like, I even, I make sure that I get their information. Every time I meet someone, else, I get make sure I get their information. I make sure I participate in whatever they have on. So I'll stop by the local business. I'll go to their events and just make sure I show my support. You know, uh, as far as networking, um, I say it's pretty good out here in Dallas for sure. I see a lot of great people doing great things. So. I would definitely encourage someone, if you're looking for a city to start your business and meet some great people, Dallas is a good city for that. Mm -hmm. And as some of the new entrepreneurs, people, you know, because you obviously meet people who are at different phases of their journey. What's the number one thing that you would say, you know, a lot of people, whether they're starting out or whether they're established business owners, What's one of the biggest needs that you see many of our black business owners needing? Um, support, support each other. Mm-hmm. That's the actually, you know, uh, even maybe having a, a, a mentor as well, definitely supporting each other for sure. And if you're just starting off, uh, don't be scared to reach out to someone that's been doing it a little longer. 
and uh, you know, gain that knowledge, share the knowledge. If you have the knowledge, if you're a business owner, share the knowledge. You know, that's how we have to build up our own community. You know, be genuine, genuine with each other. You know, extend your hand, definitely. Be willing to extend your hand. Yeah, you know, and you bring up an excellent point in terms of the importance of support. And I I cannot say, I like, I couldn't agree with you more. Like, for me, I feel like support can take shape in so many different forms. It's just people sort of like being able to engage in, whether it's engaging in the activities or even sharing the activities. I know, you know, we all have a lot of stuff that you know we're sort of doing uh you know whether it's with our families or in the community but support is essential and you know what are some key ways that you've seen like whether it's like in your own business or just in general what are some key ways that you feel that people can support another business owner um even the the smallest thing uh even giving a, a compliment, giving them a good word, that, that stuff goes real far, definitely. So you can, you know, as a business owner, you may not see the support, but like you hear it or, you know, see someone tell you that even the smallest little thing, it can give you some encouragement, keep you pushing for sure, you know. So I would say something like that, something even simple as that, but, you know, on a larger scale as well, come out, uh, spread the flyers, support each other. Um, you know, use the connections for sure. Yeah. And I noticed like a lot of your materials are, you know, on social media. They're very professionally done in terms of your flyers. And we're going to include some of your flyers in this video so people can get like a glimpse of, you know, just the type of events because you, you, you do an excellent, excellent job in what you, in, you know, bringing and connecting, um, business owners and you know just our community in general here in the Dallas area what would you what would you like people to know about whether it's entrepreneurship networking or the work that you're doing what's one of the key things that you want people to walk away um, you know after having heard our discussion today uh, I definitely just encourage people to you know believe in yourself any idea that you have, you know, be fully vested in it, you know, uh, invest in yourself. You've got a couple hundred dollars, use those couple hundred dollars, you know, invest in yourself, uh, you know, because corporate America is kind of a little shaky for African Americans at times. So have to think outside of that box. So, you know, definitely don't want to limit yourself and, you know, fully, you know, go 100% invest in yourself, you know. I have to do is take that first step and everything else will come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you had a recent Facebook post where you flipped money, which I think was was amazing. I think you said like you flipped like what two hundred dollars into like twenty five hundred or something like that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Just off a uh, simple one of my ideas that I uh, I sit down and write write down every night, write down a bunch of ideas and just brainstorm and just. One of those simple ideas, it was a event uh, for my Black Women's Appreciation event that I'm hosting. Uh, that idea, simple idea, I turned that somewhat like the idea up there on to donate to the cause. So, yeah, yeah and you know, believe in yourself. Exactly. And, you know, what I t just took from what you just said is just, you know, thinking about what you want to do. Because we all have a ton of ideas, but the difference between you and a lot of other people is that you, you've taken first step, second step. I'm sure you've ran into some hurdles along the way. You're not a business owner if you haven't ran into hurdles, and you've just pushed past them. And so, like, continuing, I, I just want to encourage those listeners, um, because I talked to a number of you at different who are at different phases in, in your development as entrepreneurs and many of you want to travel and you know even something as simple as travel you get a ton of ideas from going to different places uh, because a lot of times we have these very elaborate business plans but it's the oftentimes it's the the simplest thing 
that can allow you to, you know, go from an idea to actually, you know, changing your life in so many ways. And so uh, flipping is, 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 I think, essential. And so, like, I'm just really proud of the work that you're doing, Antoine, and definitely want to support you. And, you know, for those folks who are listening, how is it that they can support you? Because, again, many of them may not even be in the Dallas area. Definitely. Uh, you can check out the, uh, I have a Facebook page and a Facebook group. Uh, they're both listed under the same name, Young Black Entrepreneurs Networking and Development Group. I also have a Instagram page. It's um, YDE underscore networking underscore group. And I'm also open to phone calls as well. You can give me a call at 314-630-4465. If you have any ideas or you want to collaborate, just give me a call. That's excellent. That's excellent. And all of that information, you guys, will be included in the description box and definitely below uh, Antoine's um, screen. Uh, it will definitely include his social media information. And, um, you know, I, I definitely look forward to coming out to some of your upcoming events. And um, is there anything else you'd like to, to say before we close? Uh, I would just say to encourage people to um, control your environment, make sure you have positive energy around you at all times. You have to distance yourself. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, you know, just stay encouraged and stay positive. Definitely. Indeed, indeed. Well, thank you so much for coming. You guys stay tuned. We do have upcoming trips. If you ever want to find out the trips that we have, available for you to join in on our groups and use some of our travel experiences as an opportunity to network with both brothers and sisters here in the United States as well as those outside of the United States because we do our, our, our networking on an international level as well as a domestic level. Um, those of you who visit the Dallas-Fort Worth area, Antoine is the man. He knows what's going on. Nine times out of 10, he has something going on. So please share uh, this video and share his information. And I wanna thank everyone for joining us and listening today. Thank you. Thank you, Antoine. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity.